Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So let me show you the future, okay? So this is my music system. And I can just, you know, double click on the song to play it. But I'm not going to play it like this. I'm going to use a futuristic way, which is actually the future. And it's scary, but it's fun and I am enjoying it. So I created this project like uh, I'm working on some startup kind of thing. So I made it. Um, so basically, this is uh, my system, which I created in order to control everything, okay? So I'll say everything and I'll show you how, okay? So uh, what I have done is I, I implemented a MCP server, which I will tell you what MCP server is, okay? So for now, let me just uh, I'll show you a demo. So it's kind of like a hook, which I need to show you. So this is like a MCP server, so like just API, okay? So previously you used to have like APIs, but now we have like MCP servers, okay? Uh, the full form of MCP is like model context protocol. And we are going to discuss this. It's so fun. Like I'm so excited to, you know, teach you about it. So basically I have a dashboard where I have some worker agent, doesn't matter. Let me just show you the actual thing, okay? So I'm going to just say hi and when I will get a Gemini response, like, hello, how can like help you? Now I'm going to say, I want to control my music search. And it's going to connect me with this MCP server, which I created. Like, uh, I'm calling it Spotify agent, but it's um, it's my personal MPD. So don't go on the slow call, right? This is not Spotify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, play my music or play my current track. Let's be more, you know specific and i'm going to get this response and see my music is playing and i'm going to say stop this song please and my music is stopped okay so yeah this is so cool like instead of just uh you know clicking a uh, keybind or instead of just writing like mcp stop which i can do locally or mcp play which i can do like locally directly i am actually going to you know like send my request to LLM, which is so far away, like in the Google servers, and then, you know, pass my query through so many, you know, model layers, deep learning stuff, and then, you know, get back the response just to do something in my local system. But this is actually quite powerful. So let me explain you the future, guys, okay? So everyone used this paint app when you were created, um, maybe on your local computer, not like on a browser. So if I ask you to do the color, on the screen like red color so you're going to click on this bucket and then red color and do it okay now this is the normal way of using software but the time is changing guys okay so in future nobody's going to use these ugly buttons because we need to learn like what these buttons do you need to learn their operation and so much uh you need to know that this is a razor you need to know all this but in future all you're going to get, get is like chatbots like chat GPT or you know like cloud so these are the future all you are going to get is like one chat interface and you're going to just chat with the software so you're not going to see buttons in future those days are gone guys okay you're going to have a chat but and you're just going to say that i want to you know paint my screen with red and you know the chatbot will understand what you want and based on your intent, it's going to select, like it's going to run that function, which is going to select the bucket, okay? So that's the future, right? Like it's going to understand your intent and do some operation. So many people see ChatGPT and they're like, okay, it's like a, it's like the dog which barks, okay? And they still see some, you know, in some LLM, which was the thing in 2021, all right? But those days are gone. Now ChatGPT is not just LLM. Now, it, it's not the dog which can just bark. It can actually bite, all right? So, uh, but, you know, sadly, like, ChatGPT marketed as LLM. So, even though ChatGPT can now, like, literally launch a rocket, but you can't see it. Like, all you think is, oh, it's just a LLM. But people are using LLM as intelligence to decide what to do. And they are making API calls, okay? So, if you have learned, like, LangChain, so I made, like, few implementation, even with this project, which I just showed you, I made a LangChain implementation before where I was doing things by, you know, making some API called the LangChain. But this is hacky, right? So this is why people created this whole new thing, model context protocol, which is still in development. But most of the things are done. Like uh, it started this year. 
and people have are making like MCP servers, MCP clients, and this is the protocol which I learned completely, and I am in love with it because I can actually make some nice products with it. So I I have read like all the specification, how it works, and it's so exciting because this is the future. Okay, no more APIs. It's MCP. So it will be like awesome MCP clients and awesome MCP servers. You are going to see like the kind of work people are doing with this such thing. Okay. So you're now literally having MCP servers for everything. Uh, literally everything. Okay. Like social media and, uh, you know, like your information. Like let's just search like WhatsApp, WhatsApp, MCP. See, we have an MCP server for WhatsApp. So you can send a message to your wife with just, you know, one single chatbot. And this is what you call like AI first. So what is AI first application? It's the same thing which I explained. Instead of having buttons, you're just going to have like one chat bird. So if you think like Lovey well or you know Curse or, or all these like modern uh, co-pilots, that's what you do. You just chat and the coding happen automatically. So sadly, the example is not loading. Uh, I want to show you the image uh, which this guy have put. So yeah, it's loading. So basically, yeah, there are so many clients, MCP clients, uh, which people have made. You can make your own client. Uh, but sadly, the Python library, Python SDK, is still is in under development. All right. So I want you guys to learn this thing because, you know, APIs are the old school way. Now everything, every stupid move which you want to make, every function which you want to run is going to get decided. Do some LLM, uh, you know, autocorrect on steroid kind of uh, intelligence, okay? So, uh, I have reverse engineered this MCP client because it's in Python and it's a uh, very small lightweight and uh, you can actually create MCP uh, server for your system. You can turn CLI tools like AWS CLI into some MCP server and then, you know, chat with your infra, like, uh, you know, literally get a report of whatever happening in your you know, infrastructure. You can tell like YouTube deal, YT DLP into some MCP server. I shouldn't have said this because this is not good. So that's the fun. Like that's the kind of things you can do with the MCP. I'm so excited. There are so many servers. See, this guy is sending message to his wife using MCP server. And you can literally do everything. There are MCP server for any use case, any service. Uh, Slack, it's there. All right. Reddit, it's there so many services okay so we can create like one chat bot and uh, like one mcp client and connect any service and just talk with it and do things much more efficiently uh but not really because it's going to cost your tokens and uh this is not cool man like uh you know like i work so much so i can buy like an expensive gpu so i can play games but then i'm creating like mcp protocol like implementing things based on it which is going to cost like more tokens, which is going to increase the price of GPUs. And, you know, like eventually it's going to cost me that. So what's the point? Like this is all bloat uh, made by elites just to make money, right? So that's what technology is all about. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to make some cool projects and show you in future. Keep like whatever.